Hi, it's Sharon Cream from Beyond Water. Now, in the past, my husband Peter and I have visited your club and shared about our work in East Africa, which is to alleviate poverty through the provision of safe, clean drinking water and sanitation facilities. Some clubs have been very generous in supporting our work, and I'm asking you to reach into your pockets one more time. Now, as somebody said once, rotary equals money. And with the effects of COVID being much uh, harder and longer than what we originally anticipated, at Beyond Water we've had to take a very strong action because the people we work with are in abstract poverty. This has hit particularly hard the girls in our girl project, both in the Kibera slum and in other areas around Kenya where we've been working. Just to share with you the, what the situation is like, since March there have been no schools operating. What has it meant for students? Well, normally they would get a meal, at least one meal, if not two, during the school break. And uh, this is, has not been happening. Families have been separated. There have been lockdowns, curfews, all sorts of things. And when I say lockdown, that means that some, for some families they were caught up country while people were still in the city. And this has been the story, and I'll share some of those soon with about some of the families that we deal with and uh, how it has impacted them. Obviously colleges have not been operating, nothing like that. So I've got a couple of stories I'd like to share with you and then my team will do the same. It's real stories from on the ground so you can see the urgency and how we need to take action. One of our young girls in the Girl Project, her name is Lesseline. Now Lesseline, she spoke to her mum and then all of a sudden she wasn't there. We think that uh, the mum may have gone off with a boyfriend and just left, left Lesseline and their little three by three metre shack in the slum with her siblings with no money, no food. Because no schools are operating, this has meant students stay at home. Students like Elizabeth have been forced by her mum to go to the market to sell little fish to hopefully bring in some income. Both Elizabeth and her mum are worried about catching COVID and we would like to be able to give them a food pass or to see them over a few weeks so they don't have to worry about this. Here are some other stories. Angelina was left to take care of her siblings. Her parents had traveled, but then uh, they were caught up with the lockdown within counties, so they were not able to come back. So right now, they're depending on organizations for food donations and also the little money that the parents sent every week. Your support will be greatly appreciated, and this will go a long way. Thank you. Hi, Justin Mutola is one of the girls in the Girl Project. And uh, due to the current situation, in the country, her mom is worried that she won't be able to provide for the family in the long run uh, because she's a casual laborer. And uh, we're so happy that you're willing to help and you are, your, your support is highly appreciated. So what we're asking is that Rotary Clubs will make a $100 donation per club. Now that's easy to do, but what it does is a huge impact. It will feed a family for two weeks. It's only $30 per parcel, and so a $100 donation will look after about three families. It will have oil, rice, beans, uh, soap, tea, uh, flour to make ugali, all the basics to keep them going. What will this do? This will alleviate stress from our students who are already under a lot of pressure because they are not in school and they're trying to do learning without being able to be online. And they will be starting school again sometime in the next couple of months but we want to be able to feed them now. We've still been able to distribute sanitary products, toilet paper to the girls, even though we haven't been able to hold our meetings. Uh, the, what happens is one of our leaders, Naomi, she goes, buys the sanitary products, meets with some girls, and they come in one by one with their masks on to be able to pick up the sanitary products. And we've been hearing stories how they've been having to share them with their whole family members because when you're living on two to five dollars a day, there's not a lot of room for sanitary products. So it's been good to be able to do that. And we hope to in November to be able to have to gather again together for the first time since March and be able to give our kids a food parcel. Would your club consider making a simple $100 donation? Think about it, discuss it together and here's my email address if you are interested in making a $100 donation. Now Rotary is about changing one life at a time. Let's start by changing the most vulnerable by giving them a food parcel. Thanks.